Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Um, this is the Sandakan Crocodile Farm. What do they actually call it? I should have probably known that. <laughs> they do call it the Sandakan Crocodile Farm and Adventureland. Now this video will be an animal video because later on I'll go to the Orangutan Rehabilitation Center. I'll go to the Rainforest Discovery Center. And if I've got time, I might go to the Sun Bear Rehabilitation Center. But I've already been to the Sun Bear Center in, um, in Laos. So if I miss that one, I'm not too fast, but I will do my best to get it all in this video. About $2.50 US entry fee. About $3.50, $4 Australian. But as soon as you walk through the gate, little baby crocodiles, well they're not babies, but they're still juveniles. Let's go and see what else there is. Some bigger ones. And guys, I remember I went to a... Um, crocodile farm in Panama I think maybe Colombia but I'm pretty sure it was in Panama and it was just one pool with hundreds of crocodiles in it they were all crawling over each other and biting each other and everything these ones look a lot happier but oh having said that look at that guy he's got his tail chopped off at the end someone one other croc's got a bit angry and bitten off the end of his tail fish in here I don't know if you can see that one there I'll see if I can get it at a better angle so you can see it's a monster big fish Look at this guy here. Unbelievable. I wasn't expecting this. I thought it'd just be crocodiles. I think we've got birds over here, maybe or maybe not. Oh look, these are all the koi fish in here. That one there, that was a monster though, that would be the biggest, I think it's a koi as well. That would be the biggest one I've ever seen. And I believe they, um, they only grow as big as their pool will let them, so I'm guessing that big one must have come out of somewhere a lot bigger. Look, that's he's still relatively small, but he's bigger than his mates over here. So yeah, he wouldn't be, in Australia, he wouldn't be considered a big croc. But I still wouldn't get in there with him take a chunk out of you and the smaller ones like that are more agile and more angry they tend to be so yeah and this in here yeah oh, so now he's, he's starting to get a bit of size but he's still not a big one he'd be maybe two meters look he's waiting for something he's thinking is this guy going to feed me look at him and i think he's been biting the fighting with someone because he's got a whole lot of meat off the side of his jaw there oh look at the bird over there taking a bit of a risk don't know what's going to come out of that the weed on the top there you guys can see it as well in the gopro but that guy over there he's starting to get some size to him he'd be three meters he's the biggest one i've seen here so far crocs look like freshies freshwater crocs because they've got the long skinny nose but i could be completely wrong and I'm also guessing that these guys might be males. That's why they're kept in here on their own. But again, I could be wrong. Because really, I've got no idea. Now, here's... He's getting some size to him there. He about maybe four metres. But still, that's not a really, really big crop. But he is a big boy. I just feel a bit sad for him because he's just got that little puddle of water. No greenery or anything. But as long as he eats, so I guess that's all he wants. And the little petting zoo here for the kids. Little do they know that those bunnies will probably go to the crocodiles. <laughs> anyway guys, this was really was worth a visit. Hey guys, good morning. This is Issa, she's my driver for the day. It's costing me about 20 US. She's going to drive me around all day to the orangutan and the sun bears and the discovery center. So, um, do you want to take your mask down so people can see your face? Okay. Say hello. 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 It's quarter to nine and they feed the orangutan at 10 o'clock. So, I would have been, and the sun bears are across here. So, I would have been here till maybe seeing the orangutan and the sun bears till maybe 
and then the Rainforest Discovery Centre is just down the road, about half a kilometre. And um, I would have been another hour there at least. So I told it wasn't fair that Issa just waits all day. So I told her to go. I just paid her the fare out here. It'll work out cheaper for me doing a bit of walking, not being lazy. But everything I want to see is here. And this is the Sun Bear Conservation Area here. And um, I've seen the Sun Bears being, um, being saved in Laos. I think in um, Luang Prabang maybe. Don't quote me on that though guys. Cause, um, but I'm pretty sure that's where it was. Where they saved the, the Sun Bears. Um, a kind of a circus act. So a lot of them have been in captivity, living in tiny little cages, doing photographs for tourists and things. But um, luckily, there's a lot of people working to save them. They're not open yet, and the entry fee is 50 ringgit. So I doubt I'll be coming back, guys. That's a lot of money. Like that's 12, 13 dollars US nearly $20 Australian but we'll go and see the orangutan getting fed and we'll decide what we're going to do then that was cheaper than sun bears um, 30 ringgit you got to pay 10 ringgit to have a camera in here but that's fair enough that's fair enough it's paying 40 ringgit so about $10 US pays to look after all the animals and own the nursery shut they're rehabilitating it but the, um, I get to the viewing platform and in 45 minutes they feed Morning. the orangutan. And there's just a sign here explaining how, the, how this all works. The orangutans get bought here when they're like a lot of them are orphaned by hunters. And they're saved, for, the babies are saved from the hunters. I think that goes into the pet trade and they're saved from the hunters but they're very malnourished and full of disease and things. So they're bought here, put in um, isolation, quarantine, to make sure that they're all right. And then they're released out here. And when they're ready to go back in the wild, they're released into the wild. Hey guys, so this is their gym here, where all the young orangutan learn how to climb, strengthen their muscles and things. And I can't see any at the moment, but like all animals, they'll be creatures of habit. 10 o'clock's feeding, so they'll be coming along here pretty soon, I think. And guys, this is our first look at an orangutan just over here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see him, but he's just there or her. But we're not allowed up that part. Oh, so guys, just the one so far. But hopefully his mates will come shortly. Yeah, enjoying a bit of corn by the looks. Yeah, he's got another mate there now. Sort of snuck up when I wasn't looking. One on the on the platform, one up on the ropes. Yeah, this was worth it, guys. Oh well, guys, that was definitely worth a visit. Um, yeah, it's times like these and at the river, Kinabatangan River. I wished I had the camera with me, the M50 and the lenses, but sorry guys, it's the, the, the amount of weight that I was carrying wasn't worth it. But hopefully we got a bit. I've got some stuff on my phone that's a bit shaky. But it's amazing guys so I'm going to head down it's about half a kilometer to the discovery center the rainforest discovery center they've got a skywalk there so I'm just going to walk down there take my time it's a little bit wet but it's not cold so, you know, Janet suggested I put a link in the description where you guys can donate to the rehabilitation center and um, I just asked them they don't have anything like that which I'm surprised of because it's um 
But anyway, I tried. Well guys, it's a bit over half a K down to the skywalk. I hope it's open in this rain, but anyway, I'm gonna go and have a look. Um, it's a bitumen road all the way there, so if someone goes past, I'll hitchhike. But otherwise, I'll just walk it. I could do, I haven't had much walking in the way. Well, actually I have, because I've had to walk into town and things. But, um, yes, what a beautiful day. It's really wet, I don't know if you guys can see how wet it is if you look at the ground. But it's still t-shirt weather. And these little local buses go everywhere, I didn't have to hitchhike. This bloke came past, stopped. Cost me a couple of ringgits, so about 40 cents to get to the Discovery Centre and he's going to drop me off right at the front door. And now I'm at the Discovery Centre. Hi! This hi. is the girl who sold me my ticket. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to go up and see what's here. Teddy Makasi, my friend. I just saw a sign there that says no zip lining today, the 27th. And um, I didn't even know they had zip lines, but now I'm really disappointed. Oh, actually, I can see the wires going across the... Yeah, so I think you start up here, go across the lake over to there, but there is none today. But let's go and have a look what there is. Oh, there's a map over here, I'm going to go and check. I'm really enjoying this rain, guys. It's nice and cool walking around. There's a suspension bridge over there, but what I'm looking for now is the... There's a canopy walk, like a sky walk. So we're going to head out there and do the sky walk and then we'll come back and we'll end up at, at this side and we'll walk across the suspension bridge and come back the other side of the river. But yeah, this is the flying fox, that's what I thought. Come across the river from up there, but man, this is the sky walk up behind us here. Just going to have a quick drink and we'll head up there. What a beautiful day, guys raining but it's lovely and cool well it's still warm but it's not horribly hot so i'll do this i'll head back into town and um we should have enough footage to do a video for today i'm surprised yeah when janet and i went on the sky walk in, in denmark or well, walk hole but we were staying in denmark in the denmark video we, um, It swayed everywhere because that was a suspension bridge, but this one's actually got legs. It's quite, quite um, stable. Stable's the word I'm thinking of. Look at this guy. Unbelievable. That's why I just had my cold drink. Feeling much more refreshed. It's amazing, guys. I'm so lucky to be able to do this. And again, I'm going to pitch the, hit that subscribe button guys, watch my videos so I can keep on doing this. And if you really want to help me, in the description to every video, there's a link to my website. If you go there, for $8 US you can buy a copy of my book, which is all about me hitchhiking around Australia when I was a young guy, when I was a young man. And, um, Hopefully, if I can sell enough of them, I'll get discovered by a publishing house. And um, then you'll be able to watch these videos for the rest of my life. And all along the skywalk, these little um, information cards telling you what you might see. But I think today, because of the rain, everything's hiding away. But... I'm happy that I saw the orangutan this morning. That was amazing. Um, there would have been a lot more if it wasn't for the rain, I believe. But I was lucky to see two. And that's what we came here for. Oh, look. There's a tower. Climb up there. See what we can see. Yeah, a lot of people I've spoken to have gone to the um, orangutan rehab and the sun bear rehab but they haven't bothered coming here it's just down the road guys it only costs 20 ringgit so that's five us maybe and, um, look at this guys that's the rest of the skywalk there that's where i came from
that's the suspension bridge down there that I'll be heading to in a minute once I've done the skywalk. Look at this guys, just unbelievable really. I'm so lucky to be able to live this life. And I don't think I say this enough, but I'm extremely lucky that to have a wife that understands my passion for this sort of life and allows me to go off and do these sort of things. Very, very lucky. Thanks, baby. Thank you, Janet. I, um, I do appreciate your trust, your tolerance. We are high up here, guys. It's the jungle canopy there. Yes, very, very high up. Oh, yeah. one of the cafes or something's blasting music through the rainforest. It kind of takes away from the tranquility of it all. Oh, we, but we're pretty high up. But you can see some of these, I think they're sepinoc trees, are much higher than us. There's one you can hike to, which I think might be that big canopy you can see on the horizon there. It's the Sepinop Giant. Oh. Just amazing, guys. Well worth coming here. Like I said, a lot of people go to the orangutans and the sun bears and don't bother coming here. Well, don't make that mistake. This is incredible, and on a better day that you'd be seeing all sorts of animals and monkeys, birds. Well, this girl's got a guide with her. And he's pointed out there's, you won't be able to see it with the GoPro, but there's an orangutan moving around in that tree. There's a monkey over here, but you won't be able to see him either. Just amazing. And this is more exciting than the rehabilitation place because this is in the wild. Just incredible. So thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> Yeah. And the guide told me if I follow this path it'll take me directly underneath the orangutan and it'll also take me to the suspension bridge. So I'm doing what you've never really seen me do. No, well, you have a few times. But I'm hiking in the bush. So if I've got my bearings right, because it was the tree with all the vines hanging off it, She's up here somewhere. I'll um, turn the camera off and see if I can find her. Uh, I can't find him, her. But what I will say, guys, is um, the skywalk's just there somewhere. In fact, I can see a little section of it there, but it's so well hidden. They've done really well here. Amazing. Yeah, I can't see any of it there. One, oh yes, I can see. A tiny bit of it there, but that's all. Now we're at the suspension bridge. Just going to walk across here, and then back to the shops, and that's us done. Guys, there's a lot more hikes you can do here. You could spend a day here without even trying. But, oh, now this is more of the type of bridge that I could tease Janet on, bounce it around a bit. Oh no, this bit's pretty stable. It was just that little bit there. Uh, yeah, don't if you if you're going to the rehab place, guys, don't miss this, and maybe get a guide because that guy, I would never have seen the little monkey, and I would never have seen that orangutan. But once he pointed them out, they were quite obvious. And guys, this really is absolutely beautiful. And this is the zip line to the other side of the lake. But as I said earlier, sadly not running today. It seems to be the story of my life. Um, can you hear all that banging, guys? All around me, I'm surrounded by a family of monkeys it's in the trees here. Look, 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 look. And they're all around me. They're banging here. That guy's there. There's the one behind me that you just heard. Oh, more up in the trees there. Oh, just there. Unbelievable. Oh, 
Look at this guy, right there. I can hear them calling to each other. And there's one so close to me somewhere here, but I can't find them in the trees. You can hear it just crashing everywhere it's up there. Hear that? He's right here somewhere. Another one there. What an amazing day, guys, really. I say that a lot, but Saba has just been surprise after surprise after surprise. Incredible part of the world. I've been a bit sad that I'll be leaving. The next video will be me travelling to the Philippines. Ah, oh, okay, so. The ship's supposed to leave in two days. There's still no information on it. Normally, it's they've got the information a week or two, four or five days at the most, or at the least, ahead of time. But there's no information on the boat. The agents here in Santa Khan, even they don't know if the boat's coming. So I am going to fly, guys. I fly... It'll cost me about... 70 or 80 US dollars more to fly to Cagayan de Oro than it would have been for me to travel. Actually, it'll probably be the same because all the bus trips and everything I haven't taken into consideration. So, I'm just going to fly there and um, I leave Tuesday morning. It's Sunday today and um, I have one night in Kuala Lumpur and I've booked a hotel right next to the airport. It was really quite cheap. It's maybe two kilometres from the airport. And then the next morning I fly to Kaguna, Cagayan de Oro. And from there I'll start the adventure again and get the ship, get a ferry to Cebu. The famous Cebu City. Anyway, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that mad dog icon up there, or the subscribe button down below. May as well hit that bell icon while you're down there. I always try and respond to your comments, so leave a comment. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this video everywhere you can. And we'll see you somewhere as beautiful as this in the next one.